Welcome back to GBTV. My name is Jake. And my name is Andrew. We hope you're having a nice four-day weekend. Here's what's happening in the Wolf Den this week. Basketball playoffs are here. These are the locations and times for all of them. Make sure to come and support our teams in these games. Also, as you can see, there is a Bravo Improv show happening on Wednesday and Thursday. We would love to see you there. While we are on the topic of playoffs, and more specifically basketball, we figured it was about time you meet the boys' basketball team. Take it away, Jake. Thank you. My dream car is probably a GTR. Uh, my dream car is... Uh, Mercedes-Benz. My dream car is a, a Porsche 911. You know, that's just always been my favorite car. Probably just a Lamborghini. Actually, my dream car is a Slime Green X Escalade, an extended version. My dream car is probably a Lamborghini. Uh, I've always just wanted one. Dream car, all red Mercedes G-Wagon. Uh, dream car is um, my car right now, 2012 Chevy Traverse. My favorite subject, probably... Uh, I'm going to go with chemistry right now. Probably math. My favorite subject, probably American Ethnic Studies with Mr. Taylor. That's a fun class. Uh, probably. Favorite subject, uh, probably my foods class. Biology, I don't know, it's, it's just, I just always had it easy in that kind of, it always came kind of easy to me. Everyone's favorite subject, English. This makes me even more excited for the playoffs to start, it's gonna be crazy. I'm sure, let's wish them luck, or even better, show up and support them in person. Moving out of events into academics, the application deadline for CCIC is March 3rd. I'm only a freshman, but I plan on going to CCIC in the next couple years, and I'm excited to learn more about it. CCIC does provide buses to campus, so there won't be any worry about transportation if you guys sign up for a class there. Here is a course catalog on the left and an application QR code on the right if you're interested in any class there, or you can view the catalog to see what courses the campus offers. Class registration for Grandview has been going on the past couple weeks now. That, mean, that also means new electives will be chosen. One of those is broadcast journalism. So we prepared a little video for you to see what this class is all about and to encourage new students to join as well. Thanks, Jake. Let's get started on the GVTV video making process. The first step is to pick an idea. So you wanna lay out all of your ideas on the whiteboard like I just did and pick the best and your favorite one. Now you're going to want to start writing a script, maybe with a voiceover and some questions based on your video and angle that you're approaching the idea with. Then after you've gotten your script ready, you want to get it approved by an editor or Mr. Roberts. After you get it approved, you move on to get the equipment, like our film grade high quality camera that Grant is checking out right now. Now it's time to ask people if they want to be interviewed. We can see here that Ryan is struggling to find someone who actually wants to get interviewed, but that is completely okay. It happens all the time and you just gotta deal with it. Ah, finally! Now it's the main part of actually getting the interview. As you can see, we're not forcing anything out of the interviewees. They're saying it themselves. Also, the interview is not looking directly into the camera, but a side angle, making it look more professional. Step seven means it's time to get B-roll. B-roll is the footage that goes on top of an interview to make it more interesting. We can see that Hem is taking some beautiful B-roll of all of this art on Grandview's walls. This would be amazing to go along with an interviewee who is talking about art. This one step would make the interview way more interesting and more enjoyable. Step eight is to edit your video. You may want to mess around with some audio levels to make sure the video sounds better and you might want to get rid of some unnecessary video clips that don't go with your angle. You can even get more video clips to add to your video. You want to make sure that you polish the video overall and make it enjoyable to watch. And just as a reminder, it is completely okay to ask one of the four editors or Mr. Roberts for help, like I'm doing right here. 
And finally, it's time to publish your video masterpiece. That is it for the GVTV video making process. Sending it back to you, Andrew. We really hope to see a few of you next year, but for those of you that don't want to be on camera or behind it, we appreciate you always watching. Our ongoing series, Meet Grandview's Admin, continues this week with Ms. Schleyhuber. Let's hear for her real quick. As you're walking down the lower commons hallway, you might see her around. She is the freshman and junior attendance dean. Today, we went down to her office to get to know her a little bit better. Journey becoming a dean, I started teaching at Sky Vista Middle School. Um, I taught there for six years. Um, and then when I was there, I realized I wanted to step into a leadership role, but one where I was still connected to students. So that's kind of how I pursued um, getting my admin license because I really wanted to be a dean to stay working with students. Um, right now, my job is primarily attendance. Um, so monitoring student attendance, making sure students are in compliance with their attendance. Um, helping kids find positive connections to going to class. Um, I'm also the dean coordinator, so kind of helping the other deans with any of their tasks if they have a hard phone call to make or a hard conversation with a student, kind of supporting in that way too. Students to learn the interests of their students um, and when teachers incorporate that into their teaching, I think it helps them reach a wider body of students, um, maybe helps them reach students who may not have a connection with other teachers. Um, so I'm all about relationships. Yeah, we are centered on restorative practices at Grandview. So there have been instances where students have um, issues with teachers or administrators. And the goal when that happens is to repair because people are going to come to work the next day and students are going to go to class the next day. So the goal is to always repair um, and make sure that both feel comfortable to continue on. Um, that's centered around hearing the student, hearing their needs, um, hearing the, the teacher or the administrator and hearing their needs and coming to a solution that both parties have input in. So I feel like that works really well. I think it's a safe space for students um, to, to share their feelings with teachers, sometimes in the classroom um, or in the hallway with an administrator. Sometimes that's not as realistic, but in a safe space when it's more one-on-one, -on -one, um, that's, that seems to work. Yes, um, she's caring, she's funny, and she's nice. As the series goes on, I'm continuing to be less afraid of our deans. I truly see that they're here to help us. I see that too. But you know who else helps us? You wouldn't believe it, but Girl Scouts. More specifically, the cookies they sell. I swear those things will get you through anything. I agree. Let's send it to Jake once again to see us about, to tell us about those special little cookies. It's the Samoas, the Thin Mints, and then whatever those peanut butter ones, those things are amazing. Ooh, okay, Thin Mints, number one. Samoas, number two. Fire. Fire. Um, three? Thin Mints? Uh, what are the other options? Because I only like Thin Mints, I'm not gonna lie. What's the one with like the, that's just like the plain? I don't even know. I don't eat Girl Scout cookies. It's like vanilla, the shortbread ones. That's that's three. Oh, I gotta go Thin Mints, Samoas. Oh, what's the third? What's it? It's like the like the cracker ones. Top three favorite Girl Scout cookies. Starting with number three is the retired Savannah Smiles, perfect lemon cookie. Uh, number two, uh, which was not the case when I was in high school, but Samoas have kind of blissed. And number one is a frozen. Thin mint. Nothing is better than a glass of milk. Good night. Thanks, Jake. After seeing those, I have to say my favorite cookie is still Thin Mints. Thin Mints? Samoas is where it's at, bro. No, the mint is better. Bro, coconut is so much better than me. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> that really makes me hungry. I think I'm gonna go grab food after this shot. I think I will too. What a sweet note to end announcements on for sure. Definitely. We hope to see you all next week. Enjoy this week first, though. We're one pack. Go Wolves!